Good games never die. Hey, it's Link from House Kasudo. Kasudo for short. My line comes from a hidden woodland people. I won't get into the details right now. Suffice it to say that we like our bridges. Great for getting over rivers, gorges, and the like. So I was thinking, why not build a ramp? Get some elevation while you're at it. This is my finished product, but I'd like to tell you about the whole development process. But if you prefer to skip ahead, just click on the link in the description. So I was working with rails at the time. You can see how that went. All it takes is a slight breeze and the whole thing wants to shift. But I liked the railing, so I kept it. It has some advantages. If you run out of power, the ramp collapses slowly since it has such high air resistance. That can let you keep your elevation somewhat instead of plummeting to the ground. There were some initial setbacks. I got it to work well as a bridge, which is always useful. And they said Terrytown only had one approach. Haha. <laughs> Huzzah magic powers! You can't always use shield rockets, like in caves. Here I'm using it to access a cliffside cave in the rain. I mean, climbing would normally be useless. Unless you're into those weird sticky potions or the sticky gear, which is a real pain to get. Eventually, I realized the stabilizer had to be at the halfway point. The three horizontal railings on either side. That way you never get so far that it shuts down. I stuck it on the bottom so it wouldn't get in the way. And slapped a hover stone to either end to make it scalable. You'll see what I mean by that here in a minute. This format makes it great for accessing things like floating islands. Gives you a great view too. And for my final trick, here I'll show you one of the epic things you could do with this build. If you ever wanted to run straight to the top of Death Mountain, now you can! We've got to get ready for that 10k. I'm putting Yonobo in his place this time, man. I'm not going to let that sucker get ahead of me. By placing a new ramp, just so, you can ascend to its base and continue your high intensity hill climb. Great for getting thighs like a bull, let me tell you. And if Sidon even thinks he's going to slip past me at the end, He's got another thing coming. Just wait till I down a level 3 speed potion. Out of here, fool! And, oops, where did that sludge come from? Sorry, Sidon. I know what that does to your gills. Freaking fish people. I don't care what people say, I was never into Mipha. We were friends. That's it. Again, it sucks. So anyway, you can see here how to set up an additional ramp. Use rewind to hold it in place right after auto building. Activate it with an arrow, then position it with ultra hand. It's pretty simple. Here. Now it's time to climb higher than Death Mountain. Hajime! Can I get to the top before the sun goes down? We'll see. Here's my ramp, falling apart.
we are, the end of all things. And we're out of power. Yep, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed.